So here we are, we're working extremely hard on our pants products. We want to sell pants to the public and we think everything is going great. And then a customer contacts us and says that the product is sold out. They can add it here, for example, but they can't check out. We have a sold out tag here. The add to cart button says sold out and the cursor becomes unclickable. How do we solve this? Well, it's very simple. No need to panic. This is just an inventory issue. So if your product is active, first of all, and it is available on your store in some way, that is a good first step. So this is all a inventory issue. Most likely the issue is coming from this tab right here. So we have your inventory and the current setup is set up to track the quantity. However, at our shop locations, we have zero on hand, as we can see here. The location and the location quantity does cause a lot of issues. I understand I've been running Shopify store stores for a long time. So let me help you out with this. The issue that we have here is that we're sold out on our locations. And more importantly, if you have mul multiple fulfillment locations or you're using multiple fulfillment apps, these available quantities and on-hand quantities are specific per the location. So even if you have an available 10 quantity at shop location, but at your fulfillment center, it shows another amount like zero, and this is where your product is being kept in the Shopify admin settings, you could get this error message as well. Now this error message actually, now that we have it up, isn't a totally bad thing because if you are actually sold out of a product, you don't, this can be seen as good and bad. If somebody sees a product is sold out, it could show that there's a lot of demand for this product. Another thing that you could do is you, if you go to your default theme content here and you search for sold out, you could also change this as a branding idea and you can change this to anything you want. So for example, you could change it to coming soon. However, your brand looks and however, the branding is appropriate for your store. So if I save this and I refresh the page here, we can now see that our sold out button is now to a more fun coming soon or pre-order or so popular or back soon or back in stock soon or coming soon next week so that you can communicate to the customer better. But if we put this back for now, sold out, and we wanted to continue selling when we're out of stock, a couple of things we can do here very easily is that we can just add more inventory to the location. And if we do this, we can add a few here to available, hit save, give this a refresh. We can now see that the sold out icon here at the top and the sold out button is now an add to cart button because now we have inventory. Of course, I understand that there are some times that you don't you want people to be able to place an order, but you don't have stock. In this case, there's a specific button right under the track quantity button that says continue selling when out of stock. Uh, this is important for a lot of reasons. This doesn't affect the Shopify POS if you had one, but if you click this now and the shop locations are out of stock, we will see even though we have zero inventory, the sold out button is no longer there and it is changed to an add to cart button instead. So this gives us some flexibility and helps brainstorm different ideas and different fulfillment center locations. I find in my time, if there's ever an error message at checkout or we're shipping or anything like that, it's usually always, not always, but it is highly likely that there is an inventory issue. So if you ever have an error at checkout or somebody can't check out and they contact you saying they can't check out or something's gone wrong, I would always just double check the shop locations inventory is accurate and then there are shipping settings for this specific location, especially if you have multiple locations in your settings in your admin. Just wanted to make this quick video for you guys as checkout issues, inventory issues are very common when you're running your own e-commerce store and you don't have time to fiddle around with these things. So I hope this helps. If it does, give the video a thumbs up so I know. And if you wanted to join a Shopify community where we can all just come together and learn and grow from each other's businesses and experiences, consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.